Oh, hey, good morning, everybody. It's Paul. About 7.30 in the morning right now, Friday morning. I guess it's the 4th or 5th of, uh, of November 2021. How are you doing, folks? Um, we'll go ahead and we'll, um, we'll, we'll do the news. We'll skip the markets because it's too early. I might get that to that later. All right. Well, um, as you know, uh, William Shatner is, not, you know, he's 90 years old or 91, whatever he is. But I wouldn't consider him to be an ultra right wing person. But anything other than being a Bolshevik ultra hard leftist right now and your game to go after. So I'm not going to read the whole thing, but the blurb here is William Shatner labeled, quote, a fool, unquote, by fellow Trek actors after space trip. And then it asks if he was a fool. And we'll get into the news immediately after this. I'm, I'm, it just kind of puzzles me. It doesn't really puzzle me. Um, you know, he had the first interracial kiss on TV back in 67 where all the coats came out, all the suits came out and said, wait a minute, we can't have a, a white guy kissing a black woman on this, you know. And he did it. And he made sure it went through. But that doesn't mean he's a Bolshevik. Like um, you folks are. My subscribers, of course, are excluded. All right, so let's see. And, of course, we've got more psych going on right now. Uh, uh, telling you the great love and care and all of these things going in like this, okay? So, uh, like I told you, if you're not a Bolshevik, um, you know, uh, you're not uh, good enough anymore, okay? And this is um, take charge of something or another. Anyways, I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's uh, another message brought to you in order to implant um, subconsciously that this is all, um, you know, very, very on target and everything. You've got to comply. You've got to comply. You've got to get others to comply by your uh, uh, compliance. And you have to make others feel like they're guilty and uh, really bad people. It's too stupid to talk about Anyway, it's George Takai, okay? And George Takai is, is saying everything, as far as I could tell from listening to him, from how great it was to get felt up by a 40-year-old a, a man with big muscles, okay, when he was young, to all other sorts of shenanigans. So I don't want to hear anything more from George Takai. Sorry to tell you I have his autograph, too. But um, he's uh, changed throughout the years. We're doing the communist news here, and then we'll go to Drudge, okay? Okay, strong, extreme geomagnetic storm expected along the northern lights. Who cares? Uh, let's see. Um, hopes fade for three French climbers missing in Ever Everest region. Everest is in um, Alaska, and it's no joke. So they're probably dead. It's uh, very difficult to survive in cold weather, folks. All right, so that's it. Um, we're going to skip the whole thing about um, um, mole molecules on Mars and all the rest of it. So let's let's just go ahead and get into uh, drugs. It's probably not much new, like I told you. Um, let's uh, let's click on it. Uh, drudge. Oh, here we go. Let's see if there's anything new that we can get our teeth into like I told you probably not looks like the same picture from yesterday um, a Republican C. Young Kin is blueprint we told you about this yesterday the problem is um, you know that might fly in certain areas but other areas aren't going to want to see the um, the guns a blazing you know what I mean and it's just I wouldn't get too overboard with that I wouldn't get too overboard with that honestly okay that's just me um, let's see, uh, non-Trump candidate search. Well, Trump will be a footnote in history, um, an oddity, and nobody wants to be, you know, within an, a, a, a yelling distance of him. You know what I mean? So he's going to become irrelevant, as he should be. Um, he was just there in order to promote the agenda and make it look like something was going to be done to keep us from going into the agenda. And this is all you need to see. Uh, right here, uh, man, like, just like I told you, take both hands, put it on head, and run around screaming because um, not again. 
Well, it looks like German scam cases are on the rise, okay? So um, it's a grave concern. It's grave concern, okay? It's just, I told you, it is so difficult to have to come here and repeat this insipid news daily. And insipid is really kind of the wrong word for this because it's dangerous. It gets more and more dangerous as this snowball of evil continues to build with the stupid people joining on board. I don't know, make sure. Make sure everybody knows what they're supposed to do. I don't do this because uh, it's building in Germany. See, it's, this is just part of the psych op for you. And this, what can I tell you? You know, it's, just, it's never going to stop. It's never going to stop. This is going to work its way in, I believe. Uh, it's probably going to take about 15, 20 years would be my guess. But once they have the technology, well, look, you might be a good driver or you think you're a good driver. But with an implant here, maybe back here, you'll be such a better driver. And your insurances will stay low because they'll know by you know, be, being able to see what's going on. And you'll be a better driver because you'll react quicker to things. And I think it should be required. I mean, even though it's, it's not a really big surgery, it's only a, a minor surgery, and it'll make you so much better and protect other people from a lot of this dangerous driving. So you really need to get on board with this. I know you don't really want to do it, but that's okay. We just won't let you fly on airplanes or you won't be able to work because you'd be too dangerous a driver if you didn't have this this thing here that will help you to see things quicker and you know it might give you a little prompt or something might give you a little headache here from time to time folks you're mindless idiots you're mindless stupid dupes my subscribers excluded you don't have any idea what's coming you don't understand anything you think anyone that is not on your side is somehow sick or demented or uh, a theorist or anything else. I'm only, I'm not telling you that this is gonna happen. I'm saying it's possible. It's possible. That's what it seems to me like it's moving to. It also seems to me like it's moving to plant-based nutrition for meats because meats are through the roof now, okay? But again, what benefit is, uh, mindless idiots, mindless stoops, what benefit is it if you're growing meat on a certain amount of area and then you just start growing plants and um, things in order to get plant-based meat. It still takes a lot of tending to. You need large, massive scale areas. Do you know how productive an insect farm would be where you could put it 7, 8, 10, 15 stories high and and uh, grow and nurture very valuable proteins of insects, which would you could you could probably do three four thousand times the harvest. And and you mindless dupes don't see this coming. They don't want you to know, but that is coming. That I will tell you. I'll stake my reputation for what it's worth on it. You're not going to see plant-based nutrition for very long because it's still going to require an awful lot of preparation and growth and things like that, maintenance and all that harvesting. Bugs are so easy and you can make beautiful flour from insects. They're already doing it it's for sale in other countries. They eat it constantly. It's very high in protein, albeit bug protein. And you're gonna look, you're gonna look. You're gonna look for it and you're gonna be happy about it. Okay, so um, like I told you, could I call it or could I call it? Take Remember I told you this three days ago? Take head in hand with both hands and run around screaming, okay? Because, oh my God, Germany is into big scam now. You understand? It's not a little thing. It is a grave concern scam, okay? That means you have to go out here and you have to tell everybody how stupid they are for not wanting to go and do what you think you're really smart for doing. You understand? Because they're telling you you're smart, right? Uh, hence, look at the video, stupid people. Stupid is as stupid does. RL2 is at it. By the way, RL2, I know you're watching me. Um, when I told you Alice in Wyoming, that was a joke, huh? Okay, I don't know how well-read you are. You sound like you're well-read because you, you corrected my spelling. 
on Jermaine. Well, um, you know, at, the way to look at this situation right now is to read the book by, um, um, oh geez, I can't remember now. Um, um, I, I can't remember his name now, I always forget it. Uh, he's got one of those backwards names. Uh, Alice in Wonderland, okay? By uh, Lewis, uh, Lewis Carroll, okay? And um, it, 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 I, I guess he was incarcerated at the time. If he wasn't incarcerated, and I think he was, he was under severe pressure from the powers that be. And he just um, was able to get out his frustrations and his political points of view out through literature, uh, through writing this, and um, caught the attention of this little girl, I guess he was sweet on, or if he wasn't sweet on her, he liked her, and he wanted to do something nice for this little girl. So that's why he named it after her, according to the, how the story went. And uh, things were a little different back then, okay? Uh, you know, there was more marrying of your 14-year-old cousins and things like that, nieces and all this kind of stuff. So anyways, you know, you know it was a different world, okay? Um, um, RL2 has commented, hey, in my notifications under the bell on YouTube, I just saw your comments. I'll read this to you, um, if I can get it back again. I just saw your... Uh, I just saw your comments on my last video, Grace, but when I click on it, there's no reply. And I got a thumbs up. I said, this is so good. Where did you find it? Uh, were you searching stupidity? Well, stupidity stupidity isn't hard to find, R02. All you have to do is walk out your GD door. That's all you have to do. Uh, the first person that you see, mask up because they're protected 100%. The mask is protecting them. They can't possibly go out anywhere. See, stupid is as stupid does. It's not possible for them to understand the fine nuances of understanding what the term imprinting is. That's far, far too complex for a Bolshevik leftist. Why would you even consider a baby bonding with the mother or with people through facial recognition? I, I'm not making any sense, am I? I'm not making Just go and get it, okay? Just go and get it, all right? You'll fit in beautifully. Just go and get it. Things will go a lot easier. RL2, sometimes I think, honestly, it's like you and me against the world. And like, honestly, my son is a good kid, but he's going to get sucked into this too. It's impossible. It's impossible. He, my son is a law and order man. I'm trying to teach him right now. It's difficult because he's sick right now, um, but um, getting better, I guess. But, but he, he's a law and order man. And to him, once you have that uh, power of authority, he goes, he rolls with it, and he doesn't understand the reasons why there are people who fight against too much power. He's not savvy enough to really understand that. He just knows that cars should be searched, and if you don't have anything in there, you don't have anything to worry about. He doesn't understand the fine nuances he does, but it's insignificant because he's a law and order man. And he's going to be on board with this scam before you know it. As soon as he gets back to school, if they ever do go back to school, it's far too dangerous to send children into school because they, they're falling down and dying all over the place. <sighs> ridiculous. Just so ridiculous. Let's get back and finish the news. Oh... Sorry, folks, I'm going to have to... I'm in the process of buying my son a, a, a bike. So, you know, he likes to... He wants to go out and do these long-distance bike runs and all that. He was never into it. I did it one time with my friend Ronnie, who was really into it. He became an Iron Man. I, like, just crazy. Crazy nuts kind of thing. Swimming uh, four miles and then bicycling 160 kilometers and then... Uh, um, running, what is it, 20, 21 miles or something? It's ridiculous. I don't know how they do it. It's insane. But I guess he did it. I don't know. It's finished. I think I told me he had blood all over his feet from blisters and this and that. I don't know how they do it. But anyways, let's go ahead and uh, let's, let's go and uh, get the drudge and then we will finish out this uh, painfully long news that we got going today because I'm interjecting all of my um, personal thoughts on this.
Okay, let's keep going here. Truck driver who knocked out longtime Dem leader spent $153 on campaign. Okay, depends where it is, you know. <laughs> Carvel is that bald guy who has a twang accent and he's a political hack uh, for the Dems. He says he's blaming the uh, Democrat defeat in Virginia from, quote, stupid wokeness. So, take it from there. I agree, by the way. All right. Uh, uh, USA mandates shots or tests for big companies by January 4th. Okay? There you go. So don't worry about it. All you mindless Bolshevik retard leftists, you're going to get your wish. You understand? Hide! Hide! Your papers, please. Your papers. Your papers, please. You must see the commandant. Thank you. Follow me, please. So retarded. I can't believe that we're at this point. I didn't tell you guys about this yet, but two nights ago, not last night, the night before, there were some Hollywood police officers, and I will not make mention of their names or stature or anything else, but the one that looked like he was kind of like the one in charge, and I won't say anything more, he said he thought it was shameful that the people in the military including their dignity was taken away from them. All their honor, their dignity, financially, everything taken away from them, them because they didn't want to go along with this. That's their only crime. They've done their jobs, I, I can't say happily, but they've done their jobs for years and years and years. And yet now, they're not worth anything anymore. Perhaps we should get them under um, prison or possibly maybe we can hang them or we could shoot them with firing squad because we've been very patient with them. You understand? Folks, you're so sick. You're so sick in your heads. My subscribers excluded. You are so sick in your heads. Got a mask up. Now make sure we wear a mask. It'll solve everything. Wear the mask. Do it. Or as they say down at the, the bullshit at the speedway, uh, take the shot. Take the shot. It's your choice. Thing. Oh, it's your choice, right? Yeah. Well, we already know where that goes. That's part of Bolshevism, ultra-left idiocy. We already know what that is. At least if you listen to my channel or anyone that makes any sense at all, you know what that is. It's just another psycho. Just like that imbecile, fat imbecile, that fat idiot from the Common Sense show, uh, Fat Pig, yeah, you know, uh, telling you, well, you know, people are coming into the country. We want them to go along with all the mandates. I mean, uh, we, we need them to be uh, this because uh, we need to do it with each other, protect each other, right? No, fat pig. You come out and you tell everybody that they have to do that. You understand, fat pig? You tell them that they have to do it. Don't introduce it to a, uh, a psycho. Like what you're doing, fat pig. You are a disgusting, foul person that will take us into Nazi Germany-style living within three or four years, and we're already having it right now with your limits of getting near each other and all the rest of it. It's a disgrace, and you are a fat pig, and I stick to it. And not only a fat pig, a disgusting, foul entity that shouldn't even be here. Disgusting. Oh, this is refreshing. Necrophiliac murderer confesses he had sex with 99 corpses. Okay? Terrific. For those of you who aren't quite as savvy as me, that means that they were not among the living. They were dead, and he was really into it, okay? Probably a mortician. Okay, uh, America's largest grocery...